Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Debra. It's me, Debra, and this is the Saturday Vloggy Thing. If you're new here, welcome. It's a little crazy, but uh, this is just what I do, okay? This is the Saturday Vloggy video where I kind of catch you up with what's been going on with life during the week, crochet during the week, and other stuff during the week, including some of the other videos that I've put up. Um, I have a lot of playlists down below. Some things will pop up up above if you're, unless you're watching on the TV, in which case they don't pop up and that's a real pain. Um, but yeah, welcome. It's crazy. <laughs> life craziness this week. So I like to start with the life stuff. Um, you may have seen in the thumbnail that I had a glove. Actually, I had a pair of gloves. Now, I've told you before, if you've been here before, I've been having a lot of problems with my skin. I've got a little psoriasis here, and I've got eczema stuff, and my fingers were splitting. Uh, the splitting is gone. I seem to have gotten that sorted out. Still have a lot of problems with the itching and eczema on the backs of my hands. But what I've been doing, upon the suggestion of several people, um, I got some gloves, and I have had to rip the seams in them because my hands are bigger than the large gloves. Thanks. Um, just putting some heavy duty cream on my hands and tons of it then putting the gloves on and sleeping with them yes I sleep with white gloves on now y'all getting old is no fun this has been a lot of weird stuff anyhow so that's a thing but it is helping my hands um, I haven't had any split fingers lately I still get some rough skin on my fingers which makes it hard to crochet because it tries to grab the yarn. So I actually take a, like a nail file and file it down. <sighs> hey, you do what you got to do, right? Okay. That is that. Had some other life stuff. I, didn't, I told you, I think a week or two ago about my washing machine. Just quit working. It's something electrical. It's not in the, in the, in the, you know, the, the moving bits and parts. It just won't turn on. Well, we decided, screw it, we're going to buy another one. So we went to Home Depot the other night after work <laughs> because online it's like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. But you go there and you end up finding the same prices anyway, even though it's like online is a better deal, blah, blah, blah. We have a Home Depot that's, that's local-ish to us. It's about 10 miles away. And uh, got the least expensive one like we did last time. This one we've had, we've had for years, you know, worked fire out of it and it's probably fixable, but we looked online for the parts, for the control bits in it and the control bits were almost as much as buying a new washer. So why bother? Um, yeah, got the new, the new one. We don't have it yet. If I look over here, my, my pile of laundry is giving me a side eye and you're saying, wow, y'all been without a washer for that long? Yeah, your girl's got a lot of clothes, okay? a lot of clothes and this really should give me an opportunity to call the herd of the clothes in that closet because I really do have a lot of clothes <laughs> but that's you know I could probably go three months without having to worry about running out of clean clothes yeah that's yeah that that's kind of that, that's me. But we bought it. It's not here yet. They're going to deliver it this coming Friday. Um, free delivery and a free installation, which means they get to carry it up in the house, which I know they use a dolly and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. The price on it, boy, the prices of everything have gone up. Last time I bought a washer, I got one for just under 300 bucks. This time it was just like 500 and something. I don't want to write that check, but I will write that check. So I wrote the check. It's done. Coming. Done deal. I will be doing laundry for days in a row, I'm sure, <laughs> to get it all caught up because I am just kind of refusing to go to a laundromat. And yeah, I just don't want to. Don't want to. No more car stuff this week, thankfully. Yay. Um, We did go grocery shopping last night. Now, yes, it is. Hang on. Let me put. We're tilting here. I got to fix this thing. Um, grocery shopping, but not like we, we went, went shopping for lunch meat. Okay. Um, I don't know if you have a Publix where you are. I know they're just in the U.S. and I think they're mostly just in the southeastern U.S. now. They are a Florida chain. I worked there when I was a teenager many, many years ago. And 
I like the way the stores are run. I do. Um, they're always clean. And the lunch meat, the deli case, is always the best. Um, so we come cruising up in there an hour before they close because I don't, I didn't get done with work till seven, and we finally got out of the house at about seven fifteen, and it takes us over a half an hour to get there. Okay, you know traffic, and and it's in the next state. So we drive up there, walk in there, and the deli person is you know cleaning stuff up because they do try to get ready to close. They have all their ending shift duties to do and I'm like you still slicing me she's like, of course because they'll slice me for you all the way up until they close like for the night um and I always start off with okay you're gonna hate me she's like no <laughs> I'm not gonna hate you because one of the things that I love to get at the Publix Deli is Genoa salami and I get their brand of the Genoa salami because it's actually really good I get a pound of it because you know we want to keep it for a, a while um, but I want it sliced super thin, almost shaved, basically to where you, you, you can almost see through it. That's a lot of slicing when you're running that slicer, it's like, nye, 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 over and over again. And they always take it in stride. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and I ordered like, you know, five different meats and cheeses and stuff. And just always super pleasant. And somebody else came up and was waiting. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm getting so much stuff. She's like, no, no, you're all good. And we chatted for a minute. Um, the stores are always so clean. And every time I have been there, that store, the carts roll smooth as silk. <sighs> Got a cart to go to some stores. And it's like, burr, 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 like that. I'm like, Really? And yes, I know carts are expensive. If you ever look at the prices of some of that stuff, if you've been to the grocery business, carts are very expensive. But they keep their stuff on point there. And it just makes me so happy. So yeah, I drove that far to go to a grocery store to get lunch meat. Picked up a few other things while we were there, of course, because, I mean, how could you not? But, oh yeah, we, we got a lot of lunch meat and I want to go over there and have a sandwich. Seriously. Or just take out a piece of that salami and let it melt on my tongue. Because, wow. Anyhow, anyhow, this is the vloggy thing. And uh, we got to get to the crochet, right? Oh, before the crochet, be sure you check out the other videos that I've put out this week. Did you know that there are two giveaways going on on my channel right now? Mm-hmm. If you don't, you better check them out. Also, speaking of giveaways, I will link up here somewhere and also down below giveaway for the person who uh makes these steering earrings slash stitch markers you see that looks like a little hank of yarn so cute super light you can get them in any colors you want pretty much she's got a couple ordered colors or you can buy from the one she already has made that is lisa ladybird loves she makes these and and she's having a big giveaway coming up y'all it is total giveaway time all over YouTube, okay? Be sure you're paying attention for that. And be sure you check out all the people that I link above and below because they are my Yarny and YouTubity, YouTubity? YouTubity friends. Just like y'all are my YouTubity friends too because you're hanging out with me here today. All right. With all that going on this week, plus working 12 hour plus days, um, I've only got one foe. This is the one foe show. For show? For show. Okay. <laughs> it is from a paid for pattern. Um, it is called the Bucket of Buns hat. And I will put a picture at the end. There'll be a little slideshow at the end showing my little plants and stuff because I'm so proud because they're still growing. And a picture of this hat on my head with the pigtails in it. Okay. I will, uh, I'm getting the information from the pattern right now because... And this, I have it in black and white. It is a full color pattern, but I've got a laser printer and it's just black and white. The pattern is by Elizabeth Ann Brown of Lizzie B. Handmade. Lizzie B. Handmade. And how I heard about this was from Z, Miss Zelda NRJ3. She did this like a month ago and I was behind on videos and I finally caught the video and I was like, oh my God, I have to make that. And I found some yarn in my stash. Let's see if I have the other one. Yeah, I have the other one in here. It does not use much yarn at all. I used like part of one of these skeins. This is something that I won. It was a premier anti-pilling everyday plaid planned pooling. 
that's really hard to say. It is super soft yarn because it's Premier. You know, we know about that. Um, it's a 200 gram ball, 100% anti-pilling acrylic. It is a four weight and uh, Ocotex 100, all that good stuff that you see on the label. Now, as far as that goes, this is the hat. This is how it turned out. It did pull cool, pull cool. And it made like swirly, stripey things, a really neat pattern. It was super easy. I followed an actual honest to goodness written pattern without a uh, demo, a tutorial, good gravy. Um, without a tutorial, I did it and I didn't have to fudge it in any way, shape or form. I was really proud of myself for doing that, but credit should be given to the pattern writer because it was written really well and I was able to follow it. It is a cute bucket hat in and of itself, but it does have a place to put your pigtails through and I'll have a picture with my pigtails in and doing that because yes, I'm nearly 52, but I will still wear, wear pigtails because of course I will. Okay. Putting that to the side. I do have some whips. My life is whip fill. The hubby blanket is not even coming in here today because I did not put a single stitch on it this week. Just way too busy. I have attempted to work on the shawl that I'm trying to make. No, there is no pattern. Yes, it is just for my beginner crochet brain. I got a little bit more done on it. I need to work some more on it. Oh, I don't even have a stitch marker in the part where I stopped because I was falling asleep one night. But, yeah. It's it's getting a little bigger. It's, I mean, it's big enough to, <laughs> to put, the front, put the, on the front of my shirt or something at this point. Um, this is made out of... It's a Wrap Hues by Red Heart. There are the colors. It's pretty wild in color, but it, when you work it up in that light stitch, it's it's much more gentle. Um, it says to use a 2.75 millimeter hook. Not happening. I'm using, what am I using? Did I even put it back in here or is it, oh, good grief. What, oh, here it is. Oh, I found it. Um, I am using a four and a half millimeter hook because, yeah, I picked up the smaller hook and I said, no, that's just not happening today. But I'm just trying to work through it. I'm hoping I can get it done fast enough to get it to Rose. Rose likes crochet for wings. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Okay, tossing that to the bed so I can get to the next thing. My temperature blanket. Okay, this is what is put together so far. See all my little squares coming together? And yes, I know my numbers are wonky, but that is the... Uh, 22, sorry, my hands were covering it, for the year 2022. I really do have to fit it, fix that too. I will fix that up. That was the first one I tried to do. One designates the month. You see there's a one there. And we'll come down here and there's a two that starts February. And then we have a three that starts March. Okay. Uh, the inner color is the low temperature. The outer color is the high temperature. These are all being done with Hobie Amigo yarns in a decay weight because I wanted it lighter because it's going to be huge. Okay. It's a uh, 19 squares across and it's going to be 20 squares down. So it's not going to be really an enormous blanket this way, but there is going to be a border. I've got it sitting on the floor right now and I'm about 5'11". So it'll probably end up being with the border about like this. Widthwise and lengthwise, quite honestly, because it'll only be one square longer in length. But yeah, I'm happy with it. It's going to be cute. And I purposely did the stitching where you could see it. All in white, all on top. Definitely see it. And the most recent part of it is in here. Because when I get to the end of the row, when I get to those 19 squares, I attach it that same day. I am not putting anything off. I don't want to fall behind. This is the last few days. Notice the darker colors. We had some warm days. We had some days in the 70s. So, yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. And I actually have a little bit of a support system for that at home because... I get asked, did you do your square if I don't show it? Because I'm always like, look, look. I mean, he couldn't give a hoot about crochet, but he will support me, you know. <laughs> I'm like, look, see? He's like, uh-huh. <laughs> I did finish. Oh, I do, wait, I do have another sort of finished item, I think. You know what? Yeah, I think this one's done. This is for the... 
rock uh, hashtag rock 2022 au make along with judy at witch piece crafts this was the one i did for uh the janice joplin album i don't remember if i showed this last week or not so i'm not really officially counting this as a foe for this week but i did finish this up ends are weaved in and everything y'all notice what all those little squares all the ends are weaved in thank you very much pat me on the back okay um but yeah because the cover of that album is mostly in grays and blacks. So there's a little bit of red in the lettering. So I put the red on the outside, a nice little border for that. The next one I have not started on yet. I haven't even pulled colors for it yet, but I need to get on that because she is releasing an album cover for us to be inspired by on the 1st and on the 15th of every month. Now I'm doing squares and I'm going to attach them all and it'll be a big sort of a, a stained glass blanket because all of mine are pretty much corner to corner in the middle of the square and then I border it in black. Um, and I'll join them in black and it'll just be, you know, a really cool throw blanket. And I go, oh yeah, that one was for that album. And that one was for that album. It's been a lot of fun because she has a huge vinyl album collection, y'all. Wow. She's really pulling some neat stuff. Another thing that I did work on a little bit, not much, but I didn't show it last week. So I'll go ahead and, and pull it out is my just sort of random corner to corner blanket that I'm doing with Mandala, um, ombre in unicorn. And I have finally started my decreases. I said, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how big we wanted to make this, but it is going to be a pretty big throw. Okay. Um, I love the way the colors work up from these. I mean, look at that. That is just super pretty. And the corner to corner that I do is a little different than most people. This might be the mini corner to corner. I don't know. I don't chain up as many and I don't do as many within because I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. It's going to be like a spring throw. And yeah, that's in here in this little bag. All of these sit around me in the living room. So my little time that I get in the evening where we're, we're finished eating dinner, we're just watching a little bit of TV or stuff before I get told you should go to bed so you could actually get some sleep. I'm crocheting while I'm watching TV and stuff. I did not know that I would be so obsessed. With a hobby but i am thank y'all thank crystal bag a day that's how i ended up in this little world yep she uh i was really down i have had lifelong problems with a uh, chronic recurring major depressive disorder which means i get depressed a lot and i will stay down for a long time i was down and I was trying not to be down. You try to find things, just, you know, you don't get, you, it's hard to be motivated to do anything. I get that. Um, but I, I wanted to win something because I know if you win something, it kind of cheers you up for a second. And sometimes it even helps spark your mood just to be in the running to win something. So I was looking on YouTube because, you know, we were like YouTube people. We watch YouTube all the time. And I did a search for, because winning craft supplies is fun. Craft supplies, giveaway, something. And... One of Crystal's videos showed up. Crystal back a day. Okay. And she was, you know, one of her epic giveaways that she was having last year. Wow, that's cool. So I entered. I watched her video and I entered. And she's so much fun. And I started watching some of her other videos. She talked about her tutorials. I'm like, oh, tutorials? And I went and looked and I went, I think I can follow that. Yeah. Let me try that. And I did already have a little bit of yarn in the house just because of other crafts and stuff. I like a ball of yarn here and a ball of yarn there. And I got one up and I had I had a few crochet hooks because you end up with random craft stuff, okay? And I was like, oh, this is cool. Now we have to go yarn shopping. That's where it all started. Just over a year ago, I started crocheting. And... That has brought me to meeting all y'all. Meeting, you know, we're on the video stuff. But it's been so much fun. I get to everybody getting little peeks into each other's lives. Um, and that's why I bring up how it brought how I ended up here. It was because of depression and trying to look for something to get me out of it. Because I think mental health and discussing it is so important. It should not be stigmatized. Yes, I take medicine for my depression. I have for years. But even sometimes the medicine just doesn't work or it stops working and you got to change it up. Um, but it's important 
to know that if you deal with any kind of mental health issues, it is no different than you dealing with a skin issue or with diabetes or with anything else that's a health issue. It's a health issue. It's mental health. It causes you to feel bad and not necessarily show it, but it's still a health issue and it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to share your stories. Maybe someday I'll share a little bit more of mine. Uh, Neva from Manic Mama Musings. Love Neva. Hi. <laughs> she is wonderful and she talks about mental health and she often has Mental Health Mondays. Um, and she talks about her experiences with mental health stuff. Um, yeah, and I think it's pretty important to listen to. Plus, Neva is awesome. So check her out as well. I'm going to wrap this up. This is getting kind of long and it's almost time for me to go back to work. I'm on a 30 minute lunch break. So yeah, this will get up a little bit later today. There'll be another video already scheduled to go up tomorrow. Um, y'all know the, y'all know the routine we have got, we're supposed to have book looks on Sunday, but that may not happen this week because I'm behind Monday. We will have time for tea though. Okay. Tuesday snacks around the world. Wednesday, we're still tasting pepper powders. Yep, let's see what can burn my face off this week, right? Um, rest of the week is just kind of random with whatever happens. And Saturday is always the Saturday vloggy thing. Thank you for being part of it. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.